Hey guys, Masquerade 100 here. Today I'm gonna be doing pretty much a video of a PC video of why your GTA game crashes. Understand? First thing you gotta understand is GTA games, GTA games are just pretty much unstable, especially GTA 4. GTA 4 is very unstable, especially on a computer, because there's so much elements the game ha the game has to go through and the computer has to go through. First off, you need to understand your computer's abilities. If you're working with a low-level computer or um, a mid-level computer, you need to understand that your game, your computer can't run everything. That's GTA related. First off, if you get to understand um, how to, how if your GTA game can even run on um, your computer, you need to go to this website www.systemrequirementslab.com slash C Y R I, which is control your can your computer run this, run that game. Um, then you will look on this part and look for um, Grand Theft Auto Four. Then you will then you will pretty much find out if the computer is able to um, even run the game. If you're working with a laptop, it gets really difficult because you know you can't really. It'll sh when you get done with um, this stuff. It'll show you what is wrong with your computer, why is it slow, or if your computer can run it. it pretty much will show you. If you're working with a laptop, it's actually difficult because if you can't exactly improve things on your laptop, you could probably improve space by buying more external memory, but you can't really upgrade your processor like you can on a desktop. But pretty much, you need to understand your abilities of your computer. If you, you run, if you, this just goes for any game you're trying to run on your PC. Um, sack off, you need to understand is check your game graphics settings. In game in GTA, you will go to start and press go click over to your right to um, graphics right here. This will pretty much tell you where you're running. The video mode. If you have like a low level PC and this is like a display, like you just got, you just pretty much don't you know, got no EMB, you might want to have it to your graphics bar right down here and have this all medium to low and have these all at 20s. Pretty much. Third, look at your video recorder. Now, the video recorder I use is Fraps. You got to understand that. Your video recorder, if you're recording the gameplay, it may seem slower because it's always going to be slow because you he really is taking the process of recording it and putting it in the video format, then putting it into a storage, which is a folder or something like that. You need to understand um, how what you can record at, or you can record it full screen or half screen, or 60 frames per second, which is pretty much 30 frames per second. But you need to also understand what you're recording where is it getting recorded to and if you have a lot of videos under that place space where you got this your destination folder to your, your recording the stuff in you might want to delete some of the videos that you already used and uploaded it um fourth is you need to look at your scripts folder your scripts folder is pretty much looking your gta for directly go to your scripts folder and you need to understand what scripts you're using because Nine times out of ten, your scripts are going to run into each other, and they're going to be interfering. Like if you have LCPDFR and you got a trainer at the same time, you might want to disable the trainer if you're working with LCPDFR. And if your scripts you mess with your scripts, you understand is you got to remove some of the scripts out of your folder if you're not using them for a particular game or app. So if you're like pretty much if a gamer like me and uploads clips. Know what you're going to use and know what you're not going to use because the main things that mess with people is either the trainer, the LCPDFR, or the police helper. Sometimes the traffic mod, this will mess you some games because some PC games cannot handle this. Now, for your fifth one is look at your money. Now, all your little car mods that you go to, like gta 4 mods.com where you have all these car mods and stuff you need to understand what these car mods are pretty much they're not the same as your uh, regular gta games you need to understand that from the get-go because these for the game to load these cars up requires more more processing power 
and to spawn these games around the city when you're in game. Now, if you got so many car mods and stuff, it's going to take your computer slower and it's going to intense the risk of the computer crashing pretty much. You need to understand. Now, if you're just a LCPDR gamer, the logical reason would just to be replace all the civilian cars, the buses, the helicopters, and all that crap with just the original GTA 4 mods. This means you have to, when you first install your GTA game, you have to back the stuff up. So you can always go with your smart folder and always drag this stuff out of the original GTA 4 and just replace it with your um, your old GTA, your current GTA that you're using. First off, first off, you need to understand that these is some of these mods, car mods out here, are not good quality and will ruin your game. All right, six need always. Always have a backup to back pretty much what I just said. You need always need to have a backup GTA 4 order in case setting goes wrong. In case you install setting like a map or EMB or something like when I say you install a GTA map, that means it's pretty much an extension like Route 66, um, Dead Man's Island, Red Dead Desert, all that crap. If you install that, you need to understand if your computer can even run the game first. If your computer is pretty much barely running the game at maybe 10 frames per second. It wouldn't be wise instead of adding on to it. Um, pretty much seven is never use EMB or other enhancers. If you have a low level PC, you need to understand if your computer can't even handle the stock graphics, don't even try to have the um, upper graphics because it's just going to ruin your game. So most PCs won't even start the game if you have EMBs on. Um, just pretty much know your abilities of your computer. Then last is you need to also check your GTA directly. If you have outdated script hooks or pretty much just outdated stuff like advanced script hooks or you know that crap, you need to just have that updated or D sound and you need to update. One main thing is down here at the X Live, this may have if you add in this, you just look this up on um, YouTube. And if you add this into your folder, maybe it'll help you get your game out with the lag and stuff. Now, pretty much, this video has just been not pretty much an ex explanation of why your game. It could be this video is just for some reasons for um, as the lag or the crash or anything. Just you need to just go check out, look through. If you're having problems with your GTA game, you need to understand this. Um, this is Max One Hundred. If you have any con questions, comments, please, you know, look in the comment section folder and pretty much comment if you have a question, you know. Um, this is Masquerade King right here. I'm telling you to please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a good day. Bye.